York University digital media professor Mark David Hossel and his collaborator architect and engineer Jean-Michel Cretez of Los Angeles have been working on campus with a team of students to build their architectonic ambient light and sound installation Quasar 2.0 Star Incubator. It will make its debut at Toronto's Nuit Blanche Festival in the Museum for the End of the World at Nathan Phillips Square. Everything we know um, we know through our senses, uh, through our voices, our hearing, through sight. And um, in order to see something that's beyond our senses, we actually have to capture it somehow and transform and scale it into um, the domain of what we can sense. And, and that's when it becomes real. So, you know, in Quasar, for example, we, we're taking data information from distant locations and from, um, from uh, realms, you could say, like subatomic particle physics that are beyond our, our senses, our ability to sense, and bringing them into the present and the now and together and in such a way that you can see how they evolve and how they change and the patterns that occur within these events. The actual body of the quasar is, uh, is rather delicate, fragile, and um, made out of, the, out of those composites. And uh, opposed to what one might think, you know, building an ex exhibit that might get transported, relocated, uh, it got to be robust. And uh, we went the path to develop uh, a body that is rather fragile, alongside the conversations of working on the boundary of knowledge, of working on the, on the edge where there is actually talking to people, physicists and people that operate on the edge, there's a lot of uncertainty. So we were trying to bring in or transporting this notion of uncertainty through a certain degree of fragility. The, the theme uh, museum for the end of the world in that sense is, is, is perfect and links uh, into that discussion in a sense like pushing the horizon, but not as maybe like in you know, medieval times where knowledge falls off the continental plate, but actually as a transformation into a new, a new dimension. This project was made possible directly and indirectly through colleagues and funding through York University. So additionally and not, and maybe most importantly, we were had uh, a lot of uh, interest from students in digital media and the sculpture program that helped uh, uh, build the project, which is also, it's not just a, a job, but actually a creative process. So, the, so their thumbprint is on every part of the work in so many ways. So it's been really amazing working with Jean-Michel and Mark David because it's basically completely out of my, like, immediate comfort zone as in like I'm used to working with material and physical sculpture but nothing to do with software or the collaboration of both so it's been really great to sort of get a new perspective on how those two things can work together and be really effective in communicating a message. Uh, working on this has really inspired my own work technically. Um, Quasar it's, it's this really complex network, this physical network and what it, what it has inspired me with is looking at how it's made up of a whole bunch of simple components. So it's this complex system emerging from simple components. So just this kind of approach in my own work of taking layers of simplicity to make complexity. I think that art um, has the ability to um, connect with our understanding and the way we see the world in, in, a, in a way that's more visceral and connects with our emotions. So um, in that way it, it can reveal uh, ideas and scientific concepts, for example, but also philosophical concepts in a way that um, you experience it, and, and as you experience it, it's something that you can um, take in as part of your, your mind and your body, and, and it actually becomes part of you.